I've sunk an enemy destroyer. So fierce and bold, the oceans hold. Still the colony is stories untold. Swift as the wind, let battles begin. I got strong now, designed to win. Druid, guardian of the sea. Whispering waves set her free. With a heart that never yields. Master of Hey team, this is Ripper here. You guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Druid again, Kraken Unleashed. And uh, spoiler alert, it's a really fun game and uh, pretty uh, relaxing if uh, if you ask me. But before we begin, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support of the channel. At 4,000 subs, do another premium giveaway. So let's take a look at the ma overall makeup of this game. Pretty standard random battles. There are a lot of battleships. Yoshino, Sevastopol, St. Louis, not too many radar. Yep, no radars. And uh, the rest is just basic uh, destroyers. Probably the biggest uh, threat will be the Sherman with rapid fire. So we analyze the battlefield. Let's take a look how we're going to do this. Going right off the bat, RPF is indicating that there is a threat to my right. So we're going to go to our left. Use island for cover. And we're just going to speed through this. Uh, pretty much uh, nothing really happened right here. Uh, just really just capping very easily. I don't like this play style these days. Again, I've already done a video about battleship gameplay, but look at this. Re running to the back, Stalingrad, sitting in the back, Yamato, Montana, Montana by hiding. And I don't know the Soyuz right here. I mean, just poor uh, positioning and gameplay, in my personal opinion. And I think that's why battleship gameplay is kind of boring, in my personal opinion, nowadays. And that's just me. Uh, that's just my opinion. If you guys like battleships, great. I just encourage you guys to do a little bit more with it. I mean, that you are uh, somewhat investing time and energy into this game. Why not play it correctly? I think battleships nowadays are just sitting in the back, just uh, really just uh, having a yacht cruise, eating a lunch on the deck of your cruise ship. So... Uh, this is World of Warships, so let's take the fight to the enemy. Right here, going to the St. Louis, we're going to flank. So as a good destroyer player, we're going to spot, we're going to flank, we're going to gunboat. Since we are just gunboat DDing as a druid, if you don't know what the druid is, it's just purely focused on a um, gunboat build. It is the mini, mini tar, if you want to call it. It's got the two 127mm guns in front, and they do a lot of lot of pain, as you can see right here. 127mm coming out of the barrel at 975 meters per second, and just right off the bat, we're going to take on the St. Louis, which we could pretty handle. I've already selected the threat. I don't think he's much of a threat to me. You can see how the AP is just going to melt him to death, and now he's seeing that, oh, I'm getting melted by this little thing off to my left and it's uh, devastating so if you were going to shoot me i'm going to shoot you right back so you might as well and i've always said if you if he's doing the correct thing i mean if you, he's shooting a destroyer you always want to let priority sector is the destroyer first you want to eliminate all the destroyers. unfortunately you're going up against a druid and it's going to basically melt you like that so there goes that cruiser right there now we opened up oh and now somebody was smart enough to use the radar way to go stalingrad to pop up the asashio and now we're going to basically take the fight to the enemy right here and uh, he's pretty much dead i mean 17,900 health nothing that can withstand the ap raw ap gun power of the druid right here and it's just going to melt him like butter so let's see if we can take it up clean up on aisle 69 and he is not able to get out of that threat and if I can just aim right there, everybody's missing. Of course, you got to rely on the destroyer player to kill everybody. So, yeah, rely on the destroyer player to kill the destroyers. That's your role. So, we've already capped Alpha. We've already killed a threat in the flank. We've secured the flank at Alpha. We've killed the destroyer at Alpha. And we're also spotting at Alpha. What more do we need to do? Hey, look at the battleships sitting in the back again. Again, I'm going to keep harping on this. This is poor, piss poor gameplay right here, okay? Stalingrad, uh, at least you're somewhat providing radar support for me. But what? You know what? Let's let the destroyer do all the work and let's take the fight to the enemy. So let's go ahead and melt another battleship. Musashi, kind of the Yamato sister class ship. And it loves to eat AP shells in the center of uh, the section right there. We'll go ahead and... Uh, Open that up so you can see a little bit better right there. Huh, I never thought about that. I can make the mini map a little smaller so you guys can see the shots a little bit better. And you can just see right there we're melting like crazy. And we're going to enjoy just sitting back and firing. Very therapeutic. Very awesome. Uh, I don't have the Musashi, by the way. I think the Musashi is a powerful ship at Tier 9. It's pretty much a Yamato at Tier 9. Pretty powerful guns. Overmatches a lot of things. 
unfortunately unable to mitigate any kind of damage right here i think he even says this is pretty annoying as well yeah and i agree guys i mean druid is annoying but this is the stuff this is kind of the gameplay of today and you got to figure out ways and strategies to mitigate this at least i'm not a submarine that's going ducking underwater and uh going hidden or a carrier or just over or just keeps overflying you and dodges your aa and blows you up at least i'm giving a fair fight where i'm just like hey let me just shoot i'm revealing myself and you want to shoot back i'll shoot back with you so why not so this is kind of enjoyable gameplay to me at least we're duking it out one-on-one, uh, -on -one, fighting, and uh, he's not lagging. He is not electing to shoot me because I guess he doesn't deem me a threat. And let's see if we can eliminate. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, thank goodness I can spot those. Oh, my gosh. Here, And I love the acceleration of the Druid class here. You can see the acceleration right there. Really saved me. I would have taken a lot. And boom goes the Dynamite, and he goes down. Musashi is down for the count. Now we got to eliminate another battle. So let's take on the Zeton class here. So Zeton is the first threat. Yep, Musashi's saying, damn, that thing is annoying. Yeah, I totally understand. This thing is an annoying little thing. That's why I like the Druid so much. It is literally can wreck an entire flank as we're demonstrating right here. And let's see if we take the Zeton out. And, ouch. We take a couple shells. We're doing a little reversing techniques here. We'll go forward. We'll go back. That throws off a lot of battleship shots. And, uh, yeah, some people just don't know how to aim on, on necessarily. But at least you're unpredictable. You want to be unpredictable in the, uh, the game space, battle space, because you don't want to sit there and just be an easy target, as always. Schlieffen, or I don't know who launched these torpedoes. Maybe the Zeton. I can't remember. Let's see, uh, what can else can we do right here? Do we like to shoot him? No, no, I'm worried about the Sevastopol here. I, I thought at first he had radar, but wait a second. Soviet cruiser, nope, I checked. He does not have radar, so we're going to go ahead and let him live. We're going to go back around. Vermont takes out, Montana takes out the Vermont. Way to go there. We're going to come around the corner and finish off the Zeton right here. And this will help us, uh, our team out, eliminate the center of the map. Let's see here. And let's go and open it up on the fire. Right, we take about 8,000 HP, no problem. Let's see how, if his guns can turn fat quick enough. And unfortunately, Bupkis, no. And oh, we actually got a shot off. And ouch, that actually paid off. That actually saved their team. Right there. 3,000 health right there is detrimental because I have no more health. So uh, the fact that he was able to hit me and take 3,000 helps out his team a lot because you want to eliminate as much HP off the destroyer at the end. And here we go. We're at four kills. You know what, guys? Let's go for the Kraken. Seal the deal at 17,000. There we go. This is a sweet, sweet picture right here. This is very beautiful right here. To see a broadside cruiser like this at 17K is a druid's wet dream. So we're going to go ahead and clean it up on aisle 69 and see if we can melt this guy to death. He is not deemed as a threat, and we are just going to melt him like this. Look at all that damage. Pure raw damage just going right into his superstructure and the side of his hull. And I believe this will be the seal the deal. And boom, slash five, crack and unleash. Now let's go for the next kill right here. Schleif in. Let's see if we can uh, put some AP shells into him. Now, unfortunately, he has 42,000 HP, and that's a lot of health. I don't know if we can deal with it. Surprisingly, his, his secondaries are not firing, so he must not be a secondary. Ooh, he takes out my guns. That's a nice shot right there. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think we can keep on this engagement. I'm worried about my HP, so another thing is to monitor your HP, making sure you're not over, you know, overexerting your ship. So we're going to go ahead and continuously fire and see if we can... Now, the downside with AP only, you can't start fire, so that would be pretty crucial when he's angled like this. We're not getting many penetrations there, so uh, we're going to probably have to disengage in a bit because I am worried about the other threats that I don't see on the map. Right now, I have no idea where their Sherman or Benham is at, and maybe the Holland's up north, but again, I'm not going to take this chance, so I'll probably disengage after we take a couple more shots. If he fires one more time, then I'll call it quits. Let's see. What does he do here? Ooh, he's got torpedoes. Whew, thank goodness that was a, a widespread right there. So, uh, fortunately, I think for him, yeah, we're going to pop smoke, and nobody's spotting for me, of course. Nobody ever spots for me. I'm the only guy spotting for everybody. It's, I'm doing literally every single roll possible, and he took that hit. That was detrimental right there because you're going to see later in the gameplay. Ouch, right there, that was detrimental as well. You're going to notice because I didn't save that HP, it's going to prove very, very bad for uh, me at the end there. So let's take, let's go ahead and uh, just go ahead and cap Bravo. See, that's Capra. Ooh, now I have a threat in front of me. Okay, something spotted me in front. Like, what is this threat? Something is in front. Okay, that's a Sherman. Oh, my goodness. There he is. There is a Benham right here. Let's go ahead and try to get him out of the game. His guns are a little slow. So, hopefully, we can melt this guy before he gets a shot off. And, oh, he got a shot off. And, boom. Thank goodness Montana stops us. And we save the damage con for that fire right there. That would have been detrimental as well. We have our Hydra to spot those torpedoes up front. We do not want to take those. And we go ahead and cap Bravo as well. So, we killed a destroyer. And another destroyer. Uh, we spot another destroyer. We're also capping the spot. We're spotting. Let's see if we can eliminate this uh, Schlieffen right here. 
Okay, he is way down to his last. Okay, thank goodness. Finally, somebody kills that guy. Oh, and then we got the Holland in front. Now, he has 9,000 health. You notice that that is the reason why you need to save all your HP at the end of the game. It's situations like this where you need as much HP as possible. And the Sherman is behind us as well. We are in a pickle. We are being sandwiched by two destroyers. And what are we supposed to do at this point right here? Hopefully, the Stalingrad can eliminate a little bit more health if I can rush this guy and take... No, he doesn't. The Sherman takes out the Stalingrad. That is bad, bad, bad. And now the Sherman is about to spot us, I believe. Do we cap this spot at least? Okay, spots us. Pop that smoke. Come on, pop the smoke. That's not fair now because he is spotting me, and the Holland gets an easy shot off the bat, and he kills me right up. That is exactly why you want to save your health for the long run right there, and that was my bad, my fault. But uh, fortunately, I believe my team wins this game for us as well. Um... Yeah, it's pretty much a done deal. Let's see. Where, yeah, Chung Mu is probably going to run. Yep, and Chung Mu is going to get him. Chung Mu on one-on-one -on -one engagement, full health. Uh, yeah, you can. This is an easy kill for you. There you go. Way to go, Chung Mu. Taking out the Holland. Look at that. Five kills. 128,000 damage. Kraken unleashed. And I believe we got the combat scout because we literally were scouting for the entire team there on the Western Front. And Confederate damaging six ships. My goodness. Look at that. Oh, well, this is crazy. Uh, number one on the team. Way to go. And let's see here. 507, 507 shots, 120,000 damage, taking out five ships right there off the enemy team. And that is how the, uh, the Druid goes. If you guys like the video, like, and subscribe, bubble below. Leave a comment, say hi. And as, if you see me out there, always say hi. And appreciate all the support of the channel at 4,000 subs. Do another premium giveaway. And as always, Bill will be at the end of the video. You guys take care. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Cheers.